Good morning and welcome to Lord of Life. We are thankful that you have invited us into your home for this daily devotion. Today is January 25th, 2021, and I'm Rob Henderson, one of the pastors here. As I contemplate the past 11 months, I marvel at your resilience. I marvel at your willingness to worship in new ways, at your ability to reach those most in need. And for those of you who have connected with us during this time of, of worshiping online, doing ministry online, I marvel at the connections that God has allowed through this new technology. Robert Alden said, there is not enough darkness in the world to put out the light of even one candle. James Baldwin said, those who said it can't be done are often interrupted by those who are doing it. In May 1968, just 14 months before the moon landing, Neil Armstrong took off in his 22nd test of the lunar landing research vehicle number one. The vehicle was difficult to manage. It was the most challenging parts, or one of the most challenging parts of the mission. On that day, just 200 feet above the ground, the LLRV, the Lunar uh, Landing uh, Research Vehicle, uh, was out of balance and kept getting more out of balance. And when it was off by 90 degrees, Armstrong realized that his ability to correct it before reaching the ground um, had evaporated. And so he made the correct decision to eject his paragraph or his parachute um, uh, came out and the vehicle crashed and exploded on impact. Armstrong went back to Ellington Air Force Base and was completing all of the paperwork that was necessary after a crash such as he had just been in. As he was completing the paperwork, a fellow astronaut arriving at the base passed by Armstrong and asked how he was doing. Fine, he said, glancing up from the paperwork. As the astronaut went on uh, into the base, someone said to him, did you hear? Armstrong crashed the lunar landing vehicle. And so he went back to Neil and he said, Neil, is it true? I just heard about the LLRV crash. You're so calm. You could have been killed. Armstrong, again, calmly glancing up from his paperwork, said, yes, but I wasn't. In Scripture, 2 Timothy reminds us, God has given us the spirit not of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. And in Isaiah, don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be dismayed, for I am God. I will give you strength. I will help you. I will lift you up with my righteous hand. God helps us to be resilient people. God is present with us, no matter what it is that we may be facing this day or this week. As I think back over my conversations with many of you over the past couple of weeks, I am mindful of how many families are dealing with the virus, how many extended family members have been hospitalized. And I'm mindful of all those on the front lines. I remind you this morning that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of strength and of power and of grace. May God be with you no matter what you're going through, whatever you're going through. May God strengthen you. I want to thank you for joining us this morning. I close this devotion with a word of prayer. Lord God, we thank you for your presence with us no matter what we're facing. We thank you for guiding us, directing us, and strengthening us in each of the moments of life. In Jesus' name, amen.